And so therefore, as much as they'd like to get it done, it doesn't appear that they're going to. They can only afford to lose two GOPers in the Senate to this vote. Right now, they've got five on the other side. The administration, though, is, is out kind of pressuring these GOPers in terms of, you know, quid pro quo. You support me and I support you. Or if you don't support me, don't look for us to support you in the reelection. And so therefore, there's a, lot, there's a little bit of this cat and mouse game going on. My sense is, though, that in the end, it won't, if it stays in its current form, it's not going to pass. Mm. And so therefore, the focus will be on healthcare. We saw what happened on Friday. Healthcare stocks, pharmaceutical stocks, and healthcare stocks rallied in anticipation of this. But as we learn more over the weekend, what's in this, what's in this bill, how it's changed and the support it's not getting, uh, it once again throws it all into, you know, right up into the front stage again. And now if, if health care misses, right, if we don't get it this time around, you would think that, that senators and congressmen are going to go right to tax reform. Well, they might, but then what's it say really about tax reform, right? They can't decide on, they can't come together on health care reform. Tax reform is even a much bigger mm -hmm. issue. Mnuchin and, and uh, has already said, and Paul Ryan has already said, that we can expect massive tax reform in 2017. I find that a little bit hard to believe because mass, our tax code is huge, and a right. massive tax reform in really four months, because summer's here, these guys are all going on vacation in another week and a half for a month, and so therefore, what are we really talking about? So can we possibly get massive tax reform? My guess is no. We might start the conversation, but my guess is they could jump right to it. But I don't think we're going to get anything in tax reform, which is going to be another reason for investors in the market to back off. Because look, since the election, the market has rallied to new highs on the expectation of all these reforms, none of which we've gotten at the moment. So that means a pullback or a correction? A pullback, yeah. Correction would be 10% or more. I'm not sure we're going to get that because I don't think the Fed's going to let that happen, which is a whole nother, ah, which is a whole nother dynamic yes. we can talk about. But a pullback for sure. And anything less than 10% is well within the normal trade uh, range of trading. Uh, so nothing to get really panicked about. There may be individual sectors that get hurt more. Energy for sure is down 17%. That's almost in bear market territory. I suppose if oil continues to crash, that will be in bear market territory. But then again, that creates some opportunities if you have the long-term vision.